So this is where we're trying to get to. What's going on people, it's your boy John the Dreamer. In today's video, we're gonna break down the way I do 808 slides in Ableton Live 10. And it's quite a quick method. Let's get into the video. So the first thing you need to do is make a MIDI track, right click and press insert MIDI track. I've already got one. Next thing you need to do, choose your 808 sample. Just double click it in. Got the spins 808 here. That works perfectly. Now the next thing I recommend everybody does is put a tuner on the track now. So you can just type in tuner and search it in. This is going to allow us to work out the actual tuning of the 808 because sometimes when you drag and drop 808s into Ableton, they might be in the key of F, G or whatever. You want to make sure they're in C so when you play C on the keyboard, you're actually able to use it like a real instrument. You don't want to have tuning issues later. You want to get that all set up from the beginning and it's very simple. Just press play C on your keyboard and you can see this 808 is already in C but if yours wasn't in C, you can go into controls and you can adjust it by hitting transpose and detune. And your goal is to get it to hit the center and line up. Because sometimes it'll look like this. If I just move it, detune, right? And you're gonna have issues and you don't wanna have that. You want it to just be set up. So the next thing you need to do now is control your voices. And what I mean by voices is how many times can the sample play while you're actually playing it? So at the moment, at default, Apron is set up to play six voices, which means you can play the airway series of six times. So it would sound like this, which is not what you're going to want. You know, airways, you want it to be smooth, you want it to be monophonic. So the way you do that is set it to one voice. Only one can play at a time, which means when you play another note, it's going to cut the other one off. So if I press one note and another one. So now the notes are going to sound smooth and you're not going to have any issues with like smearing or anything like that. Okay, so let's get into the glide sort of section. What you want to do is click on control and once you're in there, you can see there's glide located over here and set it to glide. Once you have glide set up, you should be able to play two notes and hear some sort of glide. And that's quite a short one. And the reason for that is there's glide time. Now, if you adjust this time, you adjust the amount of time it takes from one note to get to another note. So if I put this on like, I don't know, one second or... And you can hear the glide time is much longer. Now the issue with doing this method and how Ableton works is, depending on your BPM of your track, you need to have a specific glide time if you want to make sure your airways are completely smooth and in time with your beat. Now, this is one thing FL Studio has over Ableton users. They have slide notes where the maths and all that sort of numbers and milliseconds is already worked out for them based on their BPM. So if they change their BPM, the slide times will also change. Whereas in Ableton, if you change your BPM, your slide times will not change. And also you have to work out your slide times. Right now we're working at 140 BPM and we need to work out the milliseconds that's going to work with Ableton Live. And this is where I'm really grateful for this plugin here, Swiss Army Meter. I recommend everybody gets it. I'll put a link in the description and I'll show you the website in a minute. But basically it calculates the millisecond times for you. So when you're trying to do glides, you know what numbers you need to type in. Now generally you only need to type in one number and general rule of thumb is I go for 16th notes. So I'll type in 107.14. I know this is getting a bit techy guys but it'll be worth it trust me and now that will be the correct glide time for this bpm so if i build a pattern in a minute which i will i'll show you how well it works you can get it at this website over here you can just type in that on google i'll put the link in the description below but check it out it's only three dollars i use this plugin every day that's why it lives on my master channel so shout out to the guys at noir labs big love so now we've got a basic pattern. Let's go in there and introduce some areas where we can do some glides. Now, the way you want to do this, nobody shows you this part on YouTube, is you need to draw in notes that are on top of your existing notes. So if we think of it this way, your note starts here and it's going to bend up to this note. So a good way to get started is just, just play the same note that you're playing. So let's say we click on this note here, drag it out. And if we press shift up, we go to G and we can see we're on F, right? So we can play F to F and have a listen to it. And we had that glide time. Now, if we introduce it a little bit earlier, we'll get a, you know, a slower glide. So just find areas where you can go in and glide. I draw the note on top and then bring it down one. All 
right, maybe we can introduce some sort of variation here. Let's bring this one out. All right. So you can see we can start to bring in some glides and a little bit of you know variation as you move forward. What I'm actually going to do now is build like just build a quick drum beat. So I just programmed a quick drum beat so we can play it alongside of it and really get the understanding of where you could put some of these glides within your beats. You can also go through and add additional notes. So let's say we go for an F higher up. So once you get your head around all the glide time numbers and how it's not worked out for you, you can get some really good results. And also depending on the type of 808 you use, you'll get different results once again. With this 808, the spins one is kind of quite mild. Um, you know, I could probably beef it up and make it sound a bit different, but just for this tutorial, it's just to really get you to practice and how to use the method to get started. You could also do methods using pitch bending and how to use the polymeno modes. Um, I'm not gonna cover it in this video because I want this to be short and snappy, but I'll do those in later videos to come. Tell me how you get on with this one. It's been your boy, John the Dreamer, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace.